Here we have a very nice looking 2009 Audi S3 Quattro, three door hatchback in white. Starts with the offside front tyre first. Tread wires on the front tyre here, not a great deal amount, We're looking at around two to three mil at the most. Um, it's not a great deal amount of tread, but there is enough. Offside front tyre, you can see what's mine, the curbing around the outer edge. The rest of the alloy appears to be in good condition. Bit of a curb mark there again. So again, a potential refurb, but for its age, not bad condition really. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, now it is a bit wet today, so a bit hard to see. I can spot one very slight dink. Apart from that, the bodywork does look very nice. No signs of any dents or damage there. Looking around the front arch, again, nice condition. Nice brushed aluminium um, wing mirrors, very uh, known as the S range with those mirrors. Uh, again, nice condition to driver's door. Some light scratches below the driver's door itself. Again, they should polish out no problem. Uh, a couple of touchings required to the paintwork there as well. Again, one or two little marks of the paintwork could do with some touchings. Apart from that, very clean. Door edge, again, spotless there. A couple of scratches to the sills, etc. Looking at the rear quarter of the vehicle, again, just one or two light scratches need a polish. Apart from that, looks very clean, very tidy. Looking at the rear tyre, a bit better than the front, looking at around 3 to 4 mil. Looking at the offside rear alloy, lovely condition. One or two light little marks of the alloy here and there, but no signs of any curving or scuffs, just a couple of light scratches, so nice condition there. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle, it is a great looking car. You've got rear parking sensors, they work perfectly fine. Some little marks um, to the uh, sort of grey material there on the back bumper. A uh, bit of a paint bubble on the boot there. And again, just some light scratches to the rear tailgate here, that could do with a good polish. Again, they're very light, so you should have no issue at all getting them out. Near side rear quarter looks fine. Again, the exhaust could do with a good clean up, but no signs of any damage at all. So just some light cosmetic marks there. Looking in the back, you can see you've got your parcel shelf there. Nice condition in the boot, and you've got your spare wheel and all your bits and bobs as well. So nice clean condition. Moving around to the near side rear tyre. And again, we've got around 3 to 4 mil. Near side rear alloy, we've got some light curbing around the outer edge there. Again, some light little curb marks with potential refurb, but not again, not bad condition for the vehicle's age really. Moving down to the near side, looking down the near side of the vehicle. We're going once again, body work looks very nice. I can spot just one or two very light dinks. Apart from that, no signs of any dents at all. Again, some light scratches to paintwork here, require polish. A couple of light little touchings here and there. Um, there appears to be quite a deep scratch there. I'm not sure if that's part of the bodywork, but uh, as you can see, I can easily get my nail into that. So just be aware of it, not sure if it's bodywork or damage. Uh, door edge looks fine on the front passenger door. And again, some light scratches below the door itself. As you can see, they should be able to polish out. No problems at all. Couple of touchings to the paintwork. Again, just light cosmetic marks. Uh, mirror looks fine. Front quarter looks fine. And the front tyre again, looking at around three to four mil there. Um, near side front halo. Again, we've got some light little curve marks here and there. Apart from that, rest of the alloy is in actual and nice condition. So, just a couple of curbs there. Moving around to the front of the vehicle, of course, with the daytime running lights with the Zen and headlights. Looking at the front there, just a couple of touchings required, a couple of stone chips. As you can see, um, this grey front bumper piece is starting to peel off there. A lot of stone chips to the front there as well, so beware of that. No signs of any damage. Um, they look like it's had some touchings in, um, not the greatest though. You can see a patch there, um, a little patch there as well, and you've got some patches on the bonnet as well, where it looks like some dodgy touchings, um, so again they need some more paint. Like I said, there are no signs of any damage at all to the front bumper, and some stone chips to the uh, the bonnet as well that need some touching. But as you can see, they've been badly touched in with what looks like the wrong paint there, so just be aware of that. Very nice looking car for its age though. Take a look at the interior. Lovely colour combination inside, you've got the black and red leather. Slight bit of wear in there to the uh, driver's bolster. Again, nothing too serious, no signs of any damage. Take a look in the back seats. As we can see, they're absolutely immaculate. Leather looks very well for the vehicle's age. 
no signs of any marks or damage in the back there, lovely condition. Uh, front passenger seat looks great as well, leather looks very well. Dashboard etc is immaculate, steering wheel's shown some uh, signs of age. Again, that's just age related, but very nice condition inside. Very tidy looking car. A couple of light scratches on the door uh, footwell there. Take a look at the dials, etc. Um, we do only have the one key with the vehicle, uh, so only one key, as you can see there. And just getting the car started. Service due, so there's a service light indicating there. Low problems at all starting the vehicle, does start perfectly fine. Um, so of course it does require a service. Now the car has done a lot of miles, it doesn't look like it's done 135,869 miles at all. But obviously it has, that's what's on the readout there. So it has done a lot of miles, but for that, for the mileage the car has done, it is in a very nice condition. Uh, it also pops up with a number plate bulb, um, as, as it appears to be out as well. So a bulb warning light will appear as well. Uh, Multifunction steering wheel, like I said, it is showing a little bit of age there. CD radio. Sounds great. Obviously, it's got the Bose sound system inside as well. No problems at all with any of the blowers. Air conditioning works perfectly fine as well. And we've got heated seats on the vehicle. They work great as well. Manual transmission. Take a quick look at the documents. Looking at the V5, the car's had two owners. It does come with an MOT here, which ends here May 14th, 2015. So plenty left on the MOT and we are looking at a full partial franchise history. First note of 15 at Audi, we've got 24 at Audi as well. Just flick this page over. We've got 40 at Audi, 55 at Audi, we've got 79 at 95 at Audi specialists. So you can see it's had plenty of service history, 113 and the last one at 123,000 miles. Of course the service light is showing at the minute, as we can see we've got full service history throughout. There we have it guys, very nice looking 2009 Audi S3 Quattro in white. Um, when looking at the vehicle you would not know it's done 135,000 miles. It is in very nice condition with just a couple of cosmetic marks on the outside.